Hey, good morning, guys. Um, I honestly don't know what our verse is today as far as the, the little calendar thingy that I have. And I'm kind of going off book uh, because when I was reading yesterday, I read like the next verse down and I was like, oh my gosh, this is one of my favorite ones. It's one of the ones I've kind of leaned on a lot. Um, and I'm not reading it. So <laughs> let's see if I can remember. I think it's John 15, 18 through 20. Um, it's if the world hates you, remember it hated me before you. If you belong to the world, the world would love you as its own. But because you do not belong to the world, because I have chosen you, the world hates you. If the world, oh, it's a word, persecuted me, it will also persecute you. And it will do these things. They will do these things to you because of my name, because they don't know the Father. I love, I love, love, love this one. Um... Gosh, yeah, I've had to lean on this one a lot. Um, people, you hear all the time that, oh, it must be so nice to, to be a Christian. It must make things a lot easier. You just have the big guy kind of right there on your side. And, you know, if you go through anything, all you have to do is pray. It's almost like you have an out. Um, and I've told people, whether they're not Christian, whether they're newly Christian and struggling, whether, you know, it's been your whole lifetime. No, <laughs> no, being Christian make things a lot harder because you, it's like being in a relationship. When you're single, you get to do whatever you want, kind of. Um, when, you're in a, when you're in a relationship or when you become a parent or anything like that, life becomes harder because you have a commitment you have to stick to. You have to change your way of thinking. You have to change your way of living to be outside yourself. Um, and so same with your faith. You you live and you think and you talk and you do all these things according to what is going to honor God and what's going to show your love for him. And that a lot of times is polar opposite of what the world is. Um, and so you stand out a lot, even when you don't want to, I swear there's so many times I will be minding my business, walking around or sitting with friends and stuff like that. And you're just, you're sitting there talking, laughing, blah, blah. And then all of a sudden the conversation whips around and it's like, oh, but you're not okay with that. Oh, but you can't hear that. Oh, but you know, you probably don't like these people or no, you hate these kind of people and blah, blah. And you're just sitting there like, what the, f the I didn't say a word. And I've never indicated that I don't like this person or that person or this thing. Or even if I do, like, can we not agree to disagree? Like, I'm not saying that I'm sitting here judging you going, you're going to go to hell. So is you're, you're just in the line of fire when you didn't do anything. You didn't say anything. And you're just like, can I not just exist in my own skin? Um, and so it's really, really, really hard and it gets really lonely and you just want to scream sometimes and be like, hear me, see me. I just, if I tell you something, believe it. Don't stick with what you've already cemented in your mind based off of bad experiences you've had with people before or what you think I think or believe or feel or any of those things. Um, so it's so hard. It's so hard and it takes so much devotion and patience to try to move past that and not just want to cut those people out and be like, I'm tired. I'm tired of being picked on. Um, but I think I've always found it very comforting when I come across this verse to be like, well, it's okay. Cause he went through it first and he, and he says, you are going to be in the line of fire. You're going to be made fun of. You're going to stand out if you love me, but it's worth it. He's worth it. So yeah, just, just lean on this verse. If you're write it somewhere, stick it somewhere where you can see it readily so that if you're ever in that position, it's just a, an anchoring and a reminder to be like, this means I really love him. This means I, I am faithful to him. If I'm standing out enough that I'm being picked on or judged by people, that means the love for him is, is shining through your actions and your demeanor and, and how you live. So I hope you guys have a good day. Um, I'm really going to try to stay consistent the next week. I am going to Florida to visit my mother-in-law and, um, my brother-in-law. And so we're going to be having a lot of fun. Um, but I'm definitely going to try to hop on here every day and still, still take these verses with me. Maybe write them down, um, throughout the week. So I hope you guys have an awesome day.